Hello sports fans, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back with Electro Sports and Bulldozer Power uh, for some Super Mega Baseball 2. Uh, it is the 11th game of the season and Bulldozer Power are taking on the Monty Express uh, who are currently riding high on a 7-3 record. Apparently the Monty Express are well known for their pitching prowess. Uh, we'll see if uh, they can do that today. Uh, meanwhile, Bulldozer Power are coming off a uh, pretty lacklustre streak. Uh, we've made no change to the ego in quite some time now. We seem to be at the sweet spot for what should be quite a spectacular game. Uh, I'm certainly hoping we can turn things around today. So uh, up in the uh, pitching uh, order today, we've got Hicks Alpha, who is not looking at his best, has to be said. Uh, but we're going to keep him on anyway. Uh, Steve Morey is still unfit. Uh, too much time in the pie shop, Steve. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep you in because uh, I ain't got a lot of choice in the matter. Uh, but we're going to hope to uh, hope to make a result out of today's uh, showing. And uh, I invite you to stick around and we'll get this game started. So we're on the road at the Bengata Bowl, Monty Express's home field, and uh, we're going to uh, get the batting underway. Uh, and uh, who have we got up first? Why, it's Ulysses Failure. I mean, who else would it be? Uh, and uh, Froth Fair will be the opening pitcher for the bad guys. Number 32, the right field. Okay, what's she got? She's got a strike as the first pitch there. Well, our failures pop that one up quite spectacularly into the shadow of the dome, uh, and uh, and he's out. Uh, but we're, uh, we're we're going to take a fairly relaxed attitude towards the first pitch system, uh, which has variously worked and not worked over the course of the. And there's uh, there's B Jack Hookers. He's out as well. Now batting number twenty-four, the shortstop. Well. It falls to Bam Bam to try and salvage something from this first inning. She's not going to salvage anything off that. We'll leave that one alone. That one, however, looks pretty promising. And uh, Bam Bam's going for a double. And the one bright spot from the uh, from the opening inning there. Well, you say one bright spot. Here comes Ninja Pumpkin. Uh, maybe he's going to do something to uh, to make us all smile. That one hit the camera right down the lens. That one's gone wide to the right. That one's gone wide to the left. Shouldn't have hit it. Oh, my, or should you? It's gone enough. Uh, the pumpkin's gone for a double, and Bam Bam's in uh, somehow. Off the uh, off the back of a pretty uh, pretty traumatic opening to the inning, we've got a run. And uh, and that's the best we've done in the uh, in the opening session for several matches now. Here's Carface. Oh, a little bit late on that one. It was a nice pitch though. Strike two. And he's chewed on that one and uh, sent it packing. Carface landing uh, a very nice home run. Uh, for an additional two runs there. Just squeaked over the fence. Uh, but Carface back on form with his 11th home run of the season. Uh, here comes Sonny Watt. Uh, he had uh, one bright spot uh, a couple of games ago, but, uh, but since then, he's been a big disappointment. That's ball one. Who are you trying to kid with that? No, 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 no. Ball two, strike one. Yeah, see, that one was a strike. There you go, Sonny Watt there, doing what Sonny Watt does best and getting out at the plate. Uh, we got John Knight, who's going to be first up to bat, and uh, and we'll see exactly what uh, we've got going on there. Uh, he's, he's chewing on something. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a handful of sesame seeds. Uh, let's uh, start, start with a cutty fastball. Uh, that certainly is cutty. That's uh, that's gone very badly wrong. Flinging that one to second. Base hit. Now batting number thirty-five, the catcher is Tippy Overly. Uh, maybe we can make her Tippy over if we uh, if we pitch 
even remotely well. That one's gone a very long way. I think it's... Yeah, it's gone. That one's out there into that gigantic piece of wasted space. Uh, we sometimes uh, park the, uh, the, the monster truck uh, for the Monty Express there. Uh, uh, it does uh, stunts and things in between different inning, uh, but today uh, it's out uh, acting as an Uber. Um, anyway, uh, that's uh, that's two runs to Monty Express for uh, for no uh, no outs so far. Uh, Monty Express come out meaning business, and the pitching from Hicks Alpha is pretty terrible thus far. Uh, but that's uh, that's an out, run out to first. Now batting number 22, the center field. Here's Jack Sharp. Uh, he also appears to have some sesame seeds on the go. That is good. Uh, they're packed full of various different uh, nutritious substances. Pick the ball up. Throw it first. Come on. And that's out number two. Now batting number nine, the first base. Here's Latoya Bullseye. Uh, she's got the eye of the tiger. Uh, the eye of the ball. And uh, let's see what she makes of... Then Never mind. She's not going to make anything out of that. Uh, let's fling one of those. Yeah, no, that's, uh, she has, she's not really gone for that one either. That's more like it. Wafty, up in the crowd. Uh, that's uh, strike one. Strike two, Hicks Alpha there, finding, finding a sweet spot or some such. That one has also been popped up. Exciting dive there from Bam Bam, but uh, but nothing doing, and uh, and that's another base hit there, and that will bring up Nick's blacksmith, uh, looking slightly nervous, uh, evidently has swallowed his pumpkin seeds and is one slightly worried about uh, about whether a pumpkin is now going to grow inside him. Uh, pretty 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 certain that's not going to be the case. You can't steal a base when it's gone foul. That's not how it works. Strike one, ball one. That one's gone foul. Now all we need to do is post something good here, and uh, and this will be all over. It's all over. Beautiful pitching from Hicks Alpha to Resire the side. Uh, Bulldozer power going into the second inning, ahead three to two. And uh, here's now Steve Morey. Gravy running down his chin. Oh, Steve. Uh, I mean, you thwapped it a little bit, but caught out by the shortstop. Uh, that's not the way you want to go. Here comes Lee Hu. And he's bottom of the batting order. We don't expect too much from him. That's ball two. That was also a ball, but he swung at it because he's a doofus. Oh, dearie me. Lee's run out to first, having gently tapped it towards the pitcher. Uh, here's Hicks Alpha, a uh, slightly dirty helmet and uh, a nervous expression because it's helmet inspection day. Uh, strike one. That could possibly... Never mind. Uh, had he hit that uh, harder than a seven-year-old might, he might have made it to first. But he didn't, so didn't. And that's the side retired. Now back, number 16, the third baseman. Here's the non-copyright infringing Lando Sandwalker... Uh, let's see what he's made of. Oh, he's hit that one a long way foul. Beautiful bit of change up there. That's strike two. Uh, if Hicks can go three pitches here, this would be lovely. That one's popped up. Uh, looks like we've got a competition to see who's going to get under it. It's failure, and that's out. Now batting number 21. Shortstop. Here's Vito Bale. Shortstop. Inside. Inside, apparently. Oh, we are in a dome. That one has gone foul. Which is fortunate, because if it hadn't gone foul, uh, that was really quite nicely placed. Strike two. Once again, falling to Hicks Alpha to deliver on a pitch. Uh, to make a grown man cry. That's a ball. Let's try the casual change-up. Waft! Out! Leave the field! Now batting number 39, 
Here comes Froth Fair. Uh, she's batting 600 for the season so far. I can't imagine that she's had that many at-bats. Uh, but uh, she's uh, she's got a piece of that, but it's not going to help as uh, Hookers is underneath it, and that's the side retired. And uh, we're already looking pretty strong here now, going into the third inning. Uh, everything is going to be absolutely dandy. There was a drone there. Uh, I, I wonder if that's the crowd trying to interfere with the now result. Then, number 32. The right fielder. It's Ulysses Failure. First name Ulysses. Last name Failure. Swinging at a terrible pitch. Oh, ball one and very nearly several balls there. Ah, uh, that's ball two. Oh, uh, no, never mind. No, no, no. Forget I said anything. No, he's out. Uh, and uh, next up to bed is uh, Speedjack Hookers, who will be hoping for something a little bit more. Uh, a bit more special from this at bat. Well, if you say so. Well, he's certainly hit that one quite high, but no, it hasn't landed yet. No, there he goes. Landed now in the glove of the centre fielder. Now batting number twenty-four, the shortstop. Here's Bam Bam. Hair's looking very shiny today. That's ball one. Got a double at her first at bat. Ball two. And that looks good enough to get her on base. Bam, bam. Uh, two for two. Now batting, number 62, the third baseman. Ninja Pumpkin, he's looking pleased with himself. As well he might. He just saved money on his car insurance. Smack! No! Too low, too low, Ninja, too low. Eye of the Tiger. Uh, she's, she's just throwing them at the floor. Just just ignore it until something good happens. Well, anything could happen here. Oh, but that did. And that's the side retired. Uh, no further runs, but we did get a hit out of that at least, I suppose. Um, maybe we should take that uh, uh, as some now kind of solace. Number 29, the left fielder. Right, back up to bat is John Knight. Uh, what's, uh, what's John bringing to the party today? Nothing Bam Bam can't handle, and he's out. Now back, number 35, the catcher. Do not underestimate this player. She hit a home run on her first at bat. Uh, we're not going to make that mistake again. No, we're going to make an entirely different mistake this time. Uh, she gets on base. And uh, and that brings up Hooker's Trebor, um, who uh, first time out didn't do very much at all. Uh, his uh, his seeing eye dog is back in the dugout. Uh, I, I, that's a that's a sunglasses coming. Oh, he's uh, he's torn into that one, and uh, it's going to come down and get him out in the process. Uh, beautiful piece of fielding there. Uh, from centre fields, Carface getting underneath that one to uh, to save uh, a lot of embarrassed-looking expressions as Jack Sharp uh, takes to the plate uh, with uh, he's still chewing. Oh, that one's gone very nicely. Uh, oh, flipping it, failure. Uh, failure's missed the uh, the easy uh, bit of fielding there, and Lashley leisurely flings it towards home to save the run. The first baseman. It's now all on the line with two outs. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna look to Hicks Alpha to, uh, to to pull this one out of the fire with two runners on base. And he does. And that's uh, that's a tremendous bit of save there from the defensive unit as Wilbur Carface comes up to bat. Uh, no home run on his first time no out. Uh, what's he feeling like today? He's feeling like a very safe a one base hit there. And that's good. That's that's what we want. Now batting, number 13, the second baseman. Hold on your hats, everybody. It's Sonny Watt. Uh, anything can happen, Sonny Watt. Getting out, Sonny Watt. Is, is pri oh, no, he's, he's good. Sonny's on base. Uh, it's all right. You can put your hats back on. Uh, Sonny's managed to accomplish something that he hasn't done very much this season. Uh, but uh, but now we can all rest assured. Uh, Big Steve is at the plate and he's looking hungry. 
Uh, and uh, I've spoken to him about this already. Well, it's ball two. That one was very close to the mark. Frankly, Steve, just lean in. Take the hit, man. I mean, it will get you on base. Uh, Steve does his best to get everybody out. And uh, and he does very well there, getting two of his own team out, uh, himself included. But we do have a runner on third. Can Lee Hu capitalise on this? That's ball one. That's ball two. Good eye, Lee Hu. That's inside. Let this one go. And Lee gets a walk, uh, which brings up Hicks Alpha, who hasn't been pitching brilliantly. Uh, so we're going to pinch it here to uh, to try and uh, uh, to try and I don't know get a run, something like that. Uh, what do we got here? Jemima Hurt. Oh, she looks she looks quite promising. Let's. Uh, there we go. Jemima's on. My goodness me, she's tall. Ball one. That's ball two. That one, however, has gone absolutely spot on. Jemima gets a double. Uh, Lee makes it round to third, and we get a run in. Uh, beautiful work there. Timely piece of pinch hitting, uh, getting results, and it's failure to bat. Uh, he's about due a big play, if you ask me. Uh, no pressure. Ball one, almost struck by the pitch again there. Ball two. You have to wonder how long they're going to stick with this pitcher. She is starting to become a little erratic. Ball three, strike one. And Failure's got it. At no, 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 no. Nobody run. Nobody run further than you need to. Uh, that's another run in. Failure gets on base. We've still got a runner on third. And uh, here comes Hookers, and he's about due as well. Ball one. Surely a substitution is going to happen soon. Ball two. Uh, that was a good pitch. Hooker's got a piece of it, but uh, that one went very foul indeed. Shouldn't have struck that one. He's going to get out. And there it is, look. Got out. Uh, and it's substitution time. Uh, what have we got? Uh, on the bench. Uh, Tulip? Yeah. No, it's Jeff. Uh, Jeff Conservative coming in now. Uh, to uh, to hopefully take us through the next couple of innings as uh, Bulldozer Power increased their lead 5-2. to two. But uh, that is nowhere near safe. The right fielder. Here's Nick's Blacksmith. Oh, Jeff, you're pitching from a very strange angle. Oh, and a slide there from, uh, from Hookers, perhaps uh, ill-advised. Um... Misjudgment there to, to try and slide to make the play and uh, and ended up giving up a double base hit there. And here's Lando Skywalker. I don't know, Chu D2. Maybe maybe that would be the name of another character we've got going on here. Uh, ball one. No, that's, uh, that's another slide that uh, amounted to little. Throws to home! So, uh, only a little bit too late and then uh, that got a double base hit as well uh, so run in disastrous fielding uh, after the promise that was shown last week and Bulldozer Power are back to their old ways once again uh, the old ways for those of you not familiar with them were that they really sucked at fielding that one was I, I don't know. I mean, that was a judgment call there on the part of the umpire. Uh, maybe maybe it was a little short. And that's an out, finally. Uh, Jeff there, having, having thrown most of his stats away. Surely we're going to get a pinch hitter here. Okay, we've got uh, Schnitzel Agro is coming on uh, to pinch hit uh, for Faith, who's been... Uh, I think her name was Faith. I forget. Uh who has been, uh, has been substituted, having put in not the greatest performance so far. Strike one, beautiful pitch there from uh, Jeff Conservative. Someone get it. I don't really mind who. And that's out number two. Now back, number 29, the left fielder. Two outs, Jeff Knight up to bat. He's one of two today. And uh, let's see if we can't round out this inning. 
Strike one. Beautiful pitch. Uh, change up catching him out. Uh, ball one. Strike two. Fantastic bit of fast ball action there. Uh, and uh, here we go. This is the one that matters. Okay. This one is the one that matters. The, the last one no longer matters. And there it is. Uh, Jeff getting him out of the plate with a nice strike out there. As, uh, as Schnitzel Agro is going to take a seat in place of Banjo Roquefort. Uh, and uh, Banjo's uh, going to, to come in and, uh, and face off against Bam Bam. Number 24, the, short the Bam Bam Renaissance continue. Flipping Nora, what was that? Come on, dude. Play the game. Uh, Bam Bam swinging a bit late. Shook up from that first pitch. That one was high. Get your eye in. There we go. Ball two, strike two. That one's not high. Uh, nice hit from Bam Bam. Not sure she's going to make it, but she does. And uh, once again gets on base as uh, Ninja Pumpkin comes up. Hopefully not going to make quite such a terrible hash of it this time. Don't swing at it. Don't swing at it. But if you're going to swing, swing. Are the words written on the locker room wall? Oh, dearie me. Oh, Ninja. Oh, what a tremendous display of rubbish that was. Here comes Carface. Haven't quite got the measure of this pitcher yet. Oh, you Wally. That's out number two. Bam Bam looking on in disgust as, uh, as Sonny Watt steps up to the plate and, uh, and the pitcher takes on the signal. What are you doing striking? Don't swing at it. Swing at that. But earlier. Come on, man. That one was definitely a ball. That one was... was I don't know. That could have gone anywhere. It doesn't really matter. He's out. Uh, that's the side retired. Not a great showing there from the team uh, in this, the fifth inning. I think it's the fifth inning. Is it the fifth inning? It's the fifth inning. Good. Maybe if I edit out this commentary, it'll sound like I know what I'm talking about. Oh, beautiful piece of fielding there from the pitcher. Uh, but Jeff Conservative is uh, is on fire. Number 19, the second baseman. Here's Hooker's tree ball, and uh, he's having a rubbish time of it so far today. Uh, let's hope it continues. Bam Bam's going to get that one. Straight to first, straight out. That's uh, two pitches, two outs so far this inning. Long may it continue. Oh, well, one more pitch would be the ideal length of time for it to continue. Uh, here we go. Jack Sharp. Strike one, right on the inside edge. Perfect pitching there from Jeff. Strike two. I thought that one was going uh, ball, but it didn't. And that's good. And that'll do the trick. And that's the side retired. Uh, great piece of uh, defensive play from uh, from Bulldozer Power clinging on to a tenuous lead. And uh, here once again is Steve Morey. Uh, insert your own joke. Ball one. Ball two. That's not a ball. Steve says, no sir, I'm hitting it. And Steve gets a double. Rumbling around to second base. Steve Morey finding his swing there at last. Uh, as uh, as Lee Hu, uh, who was walked last time out, uh, is uh, is here to try and uh, try and consolidate what is proving to be a, a quite a positive inning so far. Never mind. Yeah, no, you you've got Steve out. Steve goes well. Hey, at least I'm going to run any further. That brings up Jeff Conservative. Uh, we don't expect much from Jeff. He's only a pitcher, but I'm not subbing him yet. Come on, Jeff. I don't mind if you get hit by the pitch, Jeff. It all counts. It's ball two, strike one. Jeff really didn't get too much on that one, and uh, and he's out. Uh, one runner on second, and failures up to bat. Now, as our lead-off batter, we have high hopes. Perhaps justifiably so. And failures hit it out of the park. 
Uh, that's another two runs. He uh, he really picked his time to uh, to switch that one on. 393 feet uh, for his fifth home run of the season and 15th uh, run batted in. Now batting number 35, the left fielder. It's time for hookers. Again with the late swing. Strike one, ball one. That's ball two. That's not a ball though. Hookers has definitely nailed that one. And that one's gone as well. That's a home run. Uh, home runsville. Home runski. Uh, Hookers spanks it. And uh, he looks jolly happy to have uh, to have broken his duck uh, for the last couple of games by, uh, by getting on the scoreboard. And here comes Bam Bam. But at this stage, we've already done enough damage for this inning. Bam Bam doesn't give a monkeys, however, and she's back on base once again. And the pitcher's form continues to slump as Ninja Pumpkin turns up uh, with that big grin of his. Uh, let's see what he's got. Slightly late on that one. That one's gone high. That one did not go high. That one went uh, that one was going maybe slightly inside there, but uh, chose to swing at it anyway. And I don't know if you noticed or not, he got caught out. That's the side retired, uh, which means that uh, that Monty's team now gets a go. Now batting number nine, the first baseman. It's Latoya Bullseye, and uh, let's see what she can bring to today's party. Ball one. Strike one. Strike two. I love it when a pitch goes for a strike. Uh, and when it does it twice in a row, I'm happier still. Oh, Wafty. You got caught out by the change-up of Jeff Conservative. And now you pay the fine. Here's Nick's blacksmith. Right field. That one's good. But uh, Sonny Watts got it, thrown it to first, and you're out as well, pal. Number 16, the third baseman. Here's C3 Kenobi. Oh, look at that. Uh, poetry in motion. What a, what a great pitch. Uh, bigging up the, uh, the Jeff Conservative. That one's gone quite high, uh, but it does look like we're going to get under it. And we have, and he's out. As we head into the seventh inning, uh, Bulldozer Power now ahead by five. Uh, Monty Express still got it all to do. Uh, but we have seen no, leads more no, impressive no, than this disappear field. over the horizon into the sunset. And uh, it could so easily all go wrong. But not if you keep hitting it like that. Run, 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 run. Run, man, run, 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 run. run. Like your legs needs to run. Carface there getting a double. Uh, here's Sonny Watt, and they are going to uh, to switch out uh, Banjo Roquefort uh, for Turf Miller, uh, who's going to come in and see what he can do. Hello, Turf. What's shaking? I'll tell you what's shaking, Turf. Uh, your boots uh, are shaking as we, uh, as we get it done there, slapping your first pitch all over the park. Here comes Steve Morey. Very dark sunglasses. Ball one. That wasn't a ball, and Steve's nailed it, and that's a run. And we now have runners on first and second. Uh, the power lead extended further still as Lee Hu uh, takes to uh, takes to the plate uh, to take care of business. No, Lee's not taking care of business. Lee's going to get out. Lee Hu there, out once again. Now batting, number 43, the pitcher. Here's Jeff. Uh, we don't mind what you do, Jeff. Just try not to get everybody out, okay? Uh, I mean, it, it might be worth you taking a strike out, to be honest. Ball one. 
No, that's okay, Jeff. It's fine. There's no pressure. You're doing a great job from the mound. I don't need you to also hit. It's nice if you hit, but I don't need you to do it. Uh, all the pressure now on failure. He hit it, but it went foul. That one's good, though. And that's going to be another run in as failure hits a double. Scoreline now, 10 runs to Bulldozer Power, 3 to the Monty Express. Uh, is this a Bulldozer Power renaissance? Uh, hookers not having the best of days. Oh, dear. And, uh, and that's Hookers out there as well. Uh, that's Bulldozer Power now, 10 uh, off 17 hits. And uh, uh, it's now all going to come down to how well they can defend these final three innings. Uh, to uh, to preserve this lead that they have worked so hard to build. Strike one, beautiful pitch. Jeff Conservative. Remember the name. Strike two. Uh, his name's Jeff. Uh, he may or may not be conservative. That's just his surname. But again, a very efficient piece of pitching. And uh, Jeff has got another man out. Here's Turf. Are they going to sub him? They are going to sub him. Uh, Ashley Bates coming in uh, to take his place. And that's a very aggressive stance that she's using. That ah, one's gone foul. Strike one. Strike two. Uh, and uh, here comes the change up. All right, here comes the pop up. Get under it. Get under it. Get under it. Get under it. And that's out. Beautiful piece of fielding. Beautiful piece of, uh, of pitching. And uh, everything's beautiful. Here's Beardy McChewface. Uh, let's see uh, if he's going to uh, cause us any trouble. Not off, uh, off that kind of swing he isn't. Strike one. That one's gone foul. Strike two. Come on, Jeff. Feel the breeze. And that's popped up good and proper. Uh, we've got various people trying to get under it. But it's Lee Hu who's there, and uh, and that's job done. Uh, Joe Island now coming in to pitch. Uh, let's see what he's made of. Eighth inning. Ball is power 10. Monte Express 3. Bam Bam Puck High. Whoa, gracious. No, shouldn't have swung at that. That one's gone wide. Ball one, strike one. That's ball two. And the pitcher's dealing with some kind of hay fever at the moment. Seriously? Full count. And Bam Bam gets a walk. Oh, I see the casual nature with which she just throws the bat away. Ninja Pumpkin still smiling despite sucking today. Oh, you pillock. And that's a double play. Uh, all of that good work so rapidly undone. And here's Carface uh, to, to uh, act as salvage. But never mind. They're fighting over who's going to get to catch him out. And it's the pitcher. It's about three and a half weeks after he hit it, the pitcher's underneath it. Now back, number 35, the catcher. Here's Tippy Overly. Uh, Jeff maybe has got another inning left in him, uh, but uh, but we'll soon get the measure for, for if his arm is starting to look like jello. Uh, that's jelly, for those of you who aren't American. But uh, I try to uh, adopt some, some cultural norms uh, when playing America's sport. Well, Tippy's got a piece of that. In fact, she might... No, she did. She got all of it. Uh, that one's gone to the upper deck, and Tippy gets a run. Uh, Jeff's, Jeff's mojo uh, leaves the building as a result of that. We're going to give him one more batter to play with. And it's Hooker's Trebor who has yet to hit a thing today. Uh, come on, Jeff. Get him done. Take him apart. Bam Bam dives. A little on the late side. Uh, no real damage done. That's a runner to first. Now bat number 22. The center fielder. Jack Sharp. Uh, he's got his prescription glasses on. Ball one. Strike one.
strike two. Come on, Jeff, you've still got it, man. Still got it. And Jeff, with a clean strikeout, not even a swing there in his face, uh, gets him out. Uh, Latoya Bullseye next up to bat. Jeff now looking very tired. Get back. Here we go. That's uh, strike one. Lee, who's got it, runs to first and gets out number two. Now batting number 26, the right. Yes, I, I realise my pitcher looks quite tired, but uh, we're not too worried about that right now. Uh, he can do it. I believe in you, Jeff. We're about telling a story here, game. Uh, this, is, this is not about, oh, put in another pitcher. No, this is about Jeff and his heroic uh, defence of the realm. Someone get under it. Bam Bam's got it, and that's the side retired. Jeff has done his work and can go and rest uh, easy in the dugout, knowing that he's made the difference uh, that, uh, that Sonny Watt cannot undo. Don't swing at it, Sonny. What are you playing at? Uh, if you say so. Strike two. Ball one. Yeah, Sonny had a swing at that, and he's going to get caught for his trouble. Possibly. Definitely. And Sonny Watt is out. Is uh, Steve Morey. Bosh! Ooh! I want to do that. Nice catch. Here's Lee Hu. Uh, aside from uh, a walk uh, early on in the game... He's had a terrible game and uh, looks like it's continuing as he's also going to get caught out uh, with with very little effort required. So, going into the bottom of the ninth inning, uh, Baldur's Power ahead by six uh, and uh, we're going to need a new pitcher to get this job done. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. You have done well. And it's going to be Oscar Cattleprod. Now pitching number 16. It's Oscar and his cattle prod. Don't need anything too clever, Oscar. Oh, look at that. That was clever. Uh, all we need is just good pitches. Good pitches. Get that one to first. Out. Uh. Now back, number 21, the shortstop. Here's Vito Bale. We're not going to mess around. Try the same thing again. He's got enough of that. Throw the first. Bosh. Two for two. Now batting, number 47, Get off, Joe. Go on. There we go. They're bringing on Monty Rico, captain of the team, uh, who has uh, not been in the lineup today due to uh, slight fitness problems. Uh, but they're bringing him in out of desperation. Uh, I mean, look at that. That is some hectic chewing action from the team captain. Uh, what's it going to be? Inside. Ball one. And he's, he's not done it. He's got himself out. Game over. Ball, there's a power. Coming back from a series of ignominious defeats uh, to, uh, to rack up a, a tremendous uh, win for the ages today. Uh, making the Monty Express really look quite ridiculous. Uh, 10 to 4, the final score. Uh, with quite a lot of stats happening there. Uh, I think when you look at it, it's uh, Bam Bam Puckeye uh, did reasonably well there. Uh, as did, uh, I mean, uh, several people played quite well. Carface, he did all right. Let's move on. Uh, Jeff getting credited with the win, quite deservedly so. Uh, and, uh, and a good performance all round. Uh, although for some reason, Tippy Overly gets the star player reward uh, with only three runs batted in, although two home runs, I suppose, will give him that. Uh, failure, the second star, and Carface, the third. So this has the uh, possibility of putting Bulldozer back in charge of their own season, but uh, let's not speak too soon as we've got seven games to, uh, to, to catch up on in order to check out the standings. So let's get it done. Uh, it's the uh, Exploders versus the Brown Sox, and the Brown Sox win. That doesn't happen often. Uh, champions over the Ocelots. The Ocelots go there 8-2 to two 
smashed it. Uh, the Dodgers against the Eagles, low scoring, but the Dodgers win the game. Uh, the Fruit Bats against the Leprechauns, it's all square, going into extra inning. After 11 inning, the Leprechauns win it. Swingers against the Brown Sox, the Brown Sox continue to hang in there, but the Swingers take it. Uh, Raptors against the Aardvarks, Raptors looking uh, dominant there in that one. Uh, Dodgers against the Nomads, and uh, the Nomads pull from back from behind, goes through 11 innings, and they win 7-6. to six. Uh, Now, th those results are tallied up. Bulldozer Power continue to stay at the top of the uh, tactical division, although they are tied still with the Excavators following last week's defeat. Um, the Leprechauns lead the way in the smoothing division, with Monty Express having slipped up. Uh, but that is the division to beat. The Aardvarks, who may be back in fourth there, are on a 6-6 six and six record. Over in the Tree Gun Division, the Ocelots and Swingers are tied for first with the Ocelots having a, uh, a greater run difference to lead the way. Uh, in Bombastic, it's the Fruit Bats who are ruling the roost. The Explosives and Pirates are uh, really not showing up for this season at all. Well, next up we take on the struggling explosives, uh, and uh, and I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, sure to be a heck of a game. I do hope you'll join me for that. So please subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on it, and uh, fling a like at this one if you enjoyed the match. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.